Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Josh. Come on into my Facebook Live, man. This message was resting on my heart while I when I woke up, so I, I felt like I had to get this. To, I usually don't do these back to back, but I want to go ahead and give you this message. So go ahead and get everybody um, um, into the broadcast. Come on in, share this broadcast to as many people as possible. If you're watching this live, please do me a big favor and get this message out. If you're watching the replay, feel free to share this broadcast as well. We're going to be talking about only advertising what you have in stock. But for those watching on YouTube, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys support feel free to navigate through the description box below there's some links for you to give get involved if you're in the charlotte area or give me out to your city i'd love to come out there and bring the gift that god has for me but once again if you're watching this live on facebook share get this out to as many people but if you're also listening on soundcloud google play apple Podcasts, i want to say thank you guys for listening if you want to get this in downloadable or streaming form you can follow me and those other platforms but let's get right into it for time's sake um, this message, like I said, was resting on my heart this morning, and I wanted to make sure I share with you guys. The problem in our culture is that many people are either advertising what they don't have in stock or they're advertising a poor product that they have in stock. A lot of people get so consumed with only advertising uh, um, what they what they don't have. The, the tragedy is that many people advertise a product that they don't possess. When you advertise a product you don't possess, when the consumer receives it, you will be proven that you're a poor businessman or a poor businesswoman. This concept doesn't just apply to business. It applies to your everyday life. What do you have in stock? What do you have in your soul? What do you have in your spirit? Because whatever you allow to rest in your spirit, man, or in your soul will manifest itself in this world. And people will begin to see who you really are and what you really made. So you have to ask yourself, am I marketing something about myself that I don't have? And when you market a product that you don't have, people will find you out. And that's why we got to position ourselves to poise ourselves, to ask ourselves the question, am I really marketing a product, a person that is truly going to be able to sustain the consumer? I believe the cause of this problem is excitement. Many people get so excited that they execute from excitement versus building the, the endurance that they need with the mindset of excellence that will ensure that when they do produce a product, that product will be a product of excellence. God designed you to develop. He designed you to be able to produce something that will manifest itself in this world that the, even the secular atheistic consumer will be able to consume the product and may be fully persuaded to the king that you serve. So I have eight points real quick that I want to get to before I get into work. Eight quick points that you must do before you produce or uh, 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 market a product. Like I said, you got to make sure that you advertise what you have in stock and you got to also make sure that what you have in stock is of good quality. Number one, you must slow down. You must slow down. Many people are so excited, too excited, that they are so impulsive. They want to go out there and make it happen. Now, God gives you things in stages. God just doesn't show you um, 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 everything per se. He shows you in glimpses. He shows you in stages because he understands that the process is what's going to produce the best product. And many people want the platform without the process. Anything you do without a process, you will have defects. Anything you do without a secured process or a level Level of patience that's designed for that process, you're going to have something premature. If a woman has a baby in the fourth month, that baby is premature. There is a set system for every process in life. That's why you have to trust in God's process and say, you know what, God, I'm not going to be so impulsive because the reason why we're impulsive, we love the product and the person of God. The reason why we're so impulsive is because we love the product or the platform or the predestined place more than we love the person of God. And when you are in love with the person of God, you'll slow yourself down. You'll pace yourself. You'll say, God, I'm moving too fast. Because if you move faster than the quality of your product, then you yourself may be ready, but your product's not ready. Number one, you must slow it down. Number two, you must seek the chairman. You must seek the chairman because he's seated. I can seek him. The chairman is Jesus because he's sitting on the right hand of the father. And what was done 2,000 years ago was done. Then when I seek the chairman, I know that he is king of kings, lord of lords, and, and, and is the possessor of the universe. When I seek the chairman, I'm seeking him to find out, am I ready? Is my product ready? Am I focused enough? What do you have for me to do? 
Many people focus so much on what they're going to do 10 years from now versus what God wants them to do today. You must seek the chairman to see what kind of product you're supposed to produce today. Everyone gets so caught up on their big product, their, 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 their product of purpose, but they forget about the products that they have to produce every day. You got to seek the chairman and say every day, chairman, what do you have for me to do today? What product am I supposed to produce at my workplace? What product am I supposed to produce in my family? What am I supposed to produce today? Many people get so consumed with producing producing a product that's going to guarantee them a bag versus producing the product that they need to produce every day. Number one, you must slow down. Number two, you must seek the chairman. Chairman, what do you have for me to do? Number three, you got to do self, you got to do self inventory. Everybody's looking outward, but no one's looking inward. You got to do a self inventory. God, do I have it, man? God gives you big dreams so that you can develop into that dream. But many people look at their big dream and say, well, I deserve it or I'm big enough. No, 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 no. God gives you big dreams so that it'll be so big that you say, I must develop. I must make sure I got the love that I need, the joy that I need, the patience that I need, the gentleness that I need, the kindness that I need. We get so caught up on producing the external product, but we're not really focused on producing the product within inside that God, am I loving enough? If you're going to do anything in business, listen, everywhere you're going to be, there's going to be people and you need to be more loving. You got to be more kind. You got to be more gentle you got to be more patient are you made of the stuff that's going to that you that your that your purpose needs are you made of it you got to take self inventory and say am i the person that matches the purpose are you the person that matches the purpose if not you got to do self inventory you got to make some changes you got to say no 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 i got to look inward and say what in me must i change number 3 you must do self inventory you got to look at your heart and say man do i match it and let that make you make you you gotta let that thing say you know what i'm gonna do better and i'm gonna do whatever i gotta do every day to ensure that when it's time for be on my platform when it's time to produce my purpose i'm the person that matches it number four you gotta see the seed and you gotta see the need you gotta see the seed and you gotta see the need now what does that mean get the lint off you gotta see the seed in you your seed will always match their need. Your seed will always match their need. When you, after you do self inventory and you remove all the toxic and the waste and the stuff that's uh, is piling itself on top of your purpose, you'll see the seed that God planted in you before you was even born. That while he was forming and fashioning your mother's womb, he placed a seed inside of you that was supposed to supply the need of the people. Everybody in the world has a need and God has placed a seed inside of you for their need. But you got to make sure you see it. Many of us, the reason why we don't see our need because we have so much stuff piled on top of it. We have mama's opinion, daddy's opinion, world's influences, secular influences on top of that we see other people's seed and we're trying to match their seed versus seeing the seed that God placed inside of you. Do you see you? Do you know what you're here to do? Do you know why you're here? See the seed, then see the need. Because when you see the seed, you know whose need to meet. And many people are seeing everybody else's seed, coveting somebody else's seed, but they're not seeing the seed in them. When you see the seed in you, you know the need that you're supposed to meet. But you can't do that if you're not slowed down. You can't do that if you're not seeking the chairman. You cannot do that if you're not taking self-inventory. Because when you're distracted, you'll miss out on who you're supposed to be and who you're supposed to reach. Number five, you must strengthen the systems. Strengthen the systems. Every seed needs systems. You got to strengthen your systems to ensure that you develop. Strengthen your systems, meaning I got to get rid of certain people that are toxic. I got to get rid of certain things that are toxic. I got to secure the systems in my life to ensure that there's a level of excellence always. See, I was always to the beginning of my stages of ministry, and even now I have to be cautious that I have to make sure that I have the integrity to match the ideas. That when the ideas are manifest, I got to make sure that I'm integral. And some Sometimes when I used to get so excited, I'll be so impulsive that I'll go out there and try to make it happen and realize that I don't have the bandwidth to sustain. You got to have systems to sustain the fruit of the seed. And when you have that, you'll be able to number six, show the product. 
Don't show the product if your systems are not strengthened. Don't show the product if you're not see if you don't even know what you're supposed to do. You then show the product after the systems have been strengthened. Because when you show the product, the product has been tested, the product has been proven. When Jesus was about to be baptized, he knew that he had to. That when he went and was baptized by John, the spirit descended on him like a dove. When the spirit descended on a dove, there was a voice that came out of heaven that said, this is my son in whom I will please. Just because Jesus was pleased, just because the father was pleased in the son, doesn't mean that the son did not have to be tested. God is still pleased in you, but you must be tested. Your product must be tested. Your ideas must be tested. Everything must be tested before you show it. Many people show things without it being tested. You got to make sure that you put your product and you put your person through the gauntlet to ensure that you are strong enough to be sustained. After you have slowed down and you have sought the chairman and you have done self inventory and you seen the seed and you saw their need and you strengthen your systems and then you showed your product, then you can secure the bag. Then you can secure the bag. He'll teach your hands how to profit. He'll teach you how to be successful. But after you secure the bag, you got to sew back in. Everybody gets so consumed with sowing outward versus sowing inward. When you secure the bag and you're successful from the product and it's blessing people and, and it's thriving. The reason why people miss God or miss success is because they don't know what their seed is. I'm going to answer your question. How do you know your seed? You know your seed based upon what you're passionate about. You know you'll see based upon what you would do if money wasn't an option. What you would do even when you have thoughts of quitting, but you can't quit. Your seed is who you are. Oranges are oranges. But when you look at the seed, you don't know if it's an orange tree until it's planted. That's why you won't know who you are until you're planted in his presence. When you're planted in his presence, over time as you grow in God and you're anchored in God, you will begin to see the fruit comes last. Oh my God. Oh my God. The fruit comes last but if you're not planted you won't know what you're made of until you're planted we get so caught up on wondering what kind of fruit we are but we're not planted just be planted when you're planted over time you'll see what kind of seed you was the seed matches the fruit you got to be planted in good soil and that being planted means in his presence god i'm not moving i'm not sinning i'm not going to do anything that's going to separate me because i'm planted and over time you will see what kind of seed you was. But you got to make sure you do all these eight things to ensure that when you put anything out there, it's a blessing. God wants you to execute not from just excitement, but for excellence. Right now, guys, I want to challenge you to make some tweaks in your day to day and ask yourself the question. Am I going too fast? Am I ignoring the chairman? Am I, have I looked inside of myself lately? Do I even know what seed I am? Do I even know whose need I'm supposed to match? Are my systems strengthened? Because if I don't do any, any of these things, how can I secure the bag? Because securing the bag means securing the spoils, the success. Because when you get it, man, you can be a blessing. He gives seed to the sower. When you sow and you and you sow and you sow and you build it and you produce it, then you can sow back in and sow into advancing God's kingdom. I love you guys. That prayer this message was a blessing. Make sure you advertise what you have in stock and make sure that what you have in stock is of quality. But if you do these eight things, I promise you, you will be successful. I love you guys. Have a blessed one. Have a great day.